Hi there, Mr. Nelson again, and today we're going to go over safety wire and how to install it. Last video I talked about why you use safety wire. Now we're going to go over the actual skill of installing the safety wire. Now for the safety wire, I've got a blank one of these already set up in a vise. The other tools you're going to need are a set of needle nose pliers, which I gave you in your kits. And then the other one that you're going to need is a set of diagonal cutters, or you have your wire cutters you can when we did the wiring exercise on, there's a place for being able to cut. The other thing is you do want to wear your safety glasses while you're doing this. Uh, there could be some flying wire, smaller pieces of wire flying, so you always want to have your safety glasses on. The other thing we're going to need is, starting off, I'm just going to start off and show you one using some of this safety wire. This is stainless steel wire. It doesn't rust, so that's why this is used. I'm going to tilt this down so you can see. Okay. So to start off with, I'm going to want to wire this nut to, excuse me, this bolt to this bolt right here. So again, remember there are holes in here. So I want to start in an S pattern. So I want to start up here at the top. I don't want to start there at the bottom. I want to start here at the top and come around and come around this bolt and finish out down in this area. So starting over here, ending over here. So making an S pattern. So I can start right here. All right, now the easiest way to start is you take it, take it about in half, bend it together, and then get it tight. Now, you, this may not be as easy if you're at home and you don't have a vice like this, which most of you don't have a vice like this at home. But I do want you to try to do this as best as you can at home. If you have a, a ability to be able to do this, uh, to hold it down somehow, say on a bench or something like that with a clamp, do that. Uh, if you don't have anything like that, at least just try to put it down and pull through and then just start to do the wiring. Now, because I do have an advice, I'm gonna go through how it's done in aerospace. And I'm gonna keep it fairly tight as I do this. As I come out of the bolt, now it becomes important. There are sort of uh, procedures as to how to start wiring. So first off, I'm going to take my left over and my right under. So that's the pattern I'm going to do the whole time until I get down here and feed it through. So left over, right under. And I'm trying to get roughly eight, six to eight turns per inch. And the thickness of my thumb is about an inch. I'm going to try to go for that. So under, under, tighter, under, 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 under. I'm sort of pulling it around a little bit now. Under, under, just making a weave like this. Where am I going to go to? I'm going to go through right down here. And when I go in, I need my top one to go in first. So I'm going to do one more. I want that tight. Actually, I think I did one too many. So I'm going to take that one back because I do want that to come through. So now I'm going to feed this through the bolt. So I've got another hole there. Now I'm going to pull with my needle nose pliers and pull it tight. So this is nice and tight right there. If I had gone one more turn, it may have gotten too tight. So now when I come out, I'm going to go the opposite way. My left is going to go under, and my right's going to go on top. So I'm just going to continue doing this for about an inch or so. I have a lot of extra wire here. I probably could have used done two of these with that. That's about as much as we want. I'm going to cut off. I had just about an inch left. So I'm going to cut it maybe about there. There we go. And the last part here, you want to get your needle nose pliers and just tuck that under so that nothing's scraping along there. So that right there is a fairly decent wiring using safety wire on here. So what I'd like for you to do on your sample pieces is try one and fill up all of them. I think that you have somewhere in the neighborhood of about four or five that you can do. Try one, then do another one. 
think I gave you four pieces of wire. And I guarantee you, you're gonna get better as you go along with this, because this is a skill to be able to learn. All right? This is a skill that's uh, used throughout aerospace. Um, I've talked to different people that have worked in the aerospace field. Uh, I remember talking to a mechanic that worked on helicopters, and he said he had to do this all the time by hand like this inside where the rotors are. So that's why I teach you guys how to do this by hand. There is a wrench you can use that pulls it, that creates all that, but if you know how to do the skill by hand first, anybody can use the wrench. So this is why I teach you how to use it this way first. All right, go ahead and work your way through. Do all four of them and take a picture of it to be able to turn in. Good job.